Henry, I want to talk with you about the Share Your Story part of our website that you have uh, interacted with us on. This is an area of the website that anyone in the community can go to and share a story about a woman in their family mm -hmm. and what influence she had. Uh, the two dozen women that are listed as leading ladies on the mm -hmm. website was really done for a diverse uh, perspective of our yeah. culture here. And then there, I found out later there are lots of stories that um, really are about women that were in Murfreesboro, but that what part of this diverse group. And you had submitted one of those for us. And uh, it, I want you to share with us the story about Bonnie Golightly. Yeah. For those of you who've enjoyed Breakfast at Tiffany's, this may have some relevance. Bonnie Golightly grew up in Murfreesboro. She went to what was then called the training school now the campus school, high school here, and Tennessee College for Women. Her, her, her father was a professor at Middle Tennessee State University. Then she went to New York City and knew a lot of very interesting people and wrote several books. And in fact, I think her total book sales was somewhere in the 500,000. Mm. Some were made into movies and uh, She's probably one of the most published authors we've got. Um, and it's fascinating that Truma Capote, who based his Breakfast at Tiffany's on Holly Golightly, Bonnie Golightly sued him. Uh, same, Holly was based on her life. Oh. And she did not win the lawsuit. But it's a good story. <laughs> oh, lovely story. How fun. And I understand her family home was right across from, on East Main Street. Was. Right across from the entrance yes, there to it MTSU. Is. Yeah, exactly. Still there. Yeah, still there. So yeah. the Share Your Story gives our whole community a chance to yeah. um, participate in this part of yeah. the program, yeah. although the others were selected actually for. Uh, the, the show of how diverse our community yeah. is and yeah. so forth, so. You can share your story of a female ancestor or family friend that you would like for us to know about. As long as they were in Rutherford County at some time and they are deceased, we'd love to hear your story.